Say, get that guapo, man. Save that money. Yaho, YouTube. I am Super Genki. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about trains. <laughs> not just any trains, YouTube. Trains in Spain. One of the best things that I found about living in Europe or Japan is that trains are really easily accessible from most major cities. And one of my favorite forms of transportation is by train, not by car. Although I don't have a driver's license. That's besides the point. What I'm going to talk to you about today is Renfe. Renfe is the main train line that takes you from city to city here in Spain. And I had an experience using Renfe recently that I think you can all learn something from. You see, when I went to Barcelona, I was planning to go on Friday. But on Thursday night, there was this march of zombies in my hometown, Alcala. And I was like, dude, man, I want to go to this. I'm not going to go to Barcelona today and miss this once in a lifetime opportunity. And then Friday comes along and I'm like, yo, man, I had a little bit too much to drink yesterday. One beer. I'm a total lightweight. I kind of don't want to go to Barcelona right now. Yeah, I'm going to go today and we'll just take the bus, but I'll do it later. And then two o'clock rolls around and I'm like, dude, man, I got to take the bus now or never. I'll either have to go now or go tomorrow. But keep in mind, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't have a plan about these things. So I just go to the train station, take the train to Atocha, which is the main train station in Madrid, and go to Renfe. I hadn't seen any prices. I just expected it was going to be like 70 euros or something like that. I get there. And guess what? The ticket to Barcelona at 4.30 was 170 euros. Do the math in your head, that's like $200 YouTube. And the cheaper one was 140 euros for four hours from them. I was thinking to myself, yo, real talk, I don't need to go to Barcelona right now, not for that kind of money. But as I was standing in the ticket center, a guy named David, who is French, came up to me and said, Hey, do you want to go to Barcelona? And I said, Yeah, yeah, I do. And he's like, Hey, I bought this ticket today, but I'm not going to use it. Do you want to buy it from me? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah, I do. He taught me something that was really important. To buy your tickets online. You see, he had this ticket that he bought for 70 euros that he found online. And he sold it to me for 50 euros. I ended up saving a lot of money because someone who had a ticket to Barcelona happened to be there at the right time that I was in the ticket center to buy a ticket to Barcelona. But that's like a little too lucky. And what I'm trying to say for you is don't try to get lucky. Prepare in advance. Check online. Usually, especially with Renfe, if you buy your tickets online in advance, they are much, much, much cheaper than if you were to buy them at the ticket counter. I don't know if you know this, but I didn't know this. And now that I know this, I'm always thinking about buying my tickets online. Literally, that was like the first thing I did when I got to Barcelona. I was like, yo, we got to check for this ticket right now. I got to buy my ticket back right now. There was a ticket for 60 euros. 60 euros compared to 170 euros. Word of discretion though, if you buy your tickets online, they're going to be promo tickets. And if they're promo tickets, you can't change the ticket at all. I think that's why they're so expensive when you buy them at the ticket center. Also because they want to get your money. But you can probably change the ticket you buy at the ticket center. Point of the story is, moral of the story is, lesson learned in the story is, plan your travel. Even if you don't plan what you're going to do when you get there, plan how you're going to get there. Because if you can't get there, all your plans go down the drain. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. 24 right now, and I got some work to do. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.